I'm to help y'all out, you know? I don't want your knees hurting. That is a, just a gift. Thank I know we're in Miami, your body's feel good and all, but... Thanks for the gift. They got your back. How uh, how are you feeling about tonight? Great. Um, encouraged, just excited to come out. You know, this environment's going to be crazy and hectic. We just got to stick together and play hard, man, because um, we got to this point by doing that, and we just got to continue doing that. What's the key to that mentality? You know what I mean? How, is it hard to relax and play your game, or is it uh, one of those things where you just we've done it two times, let's just get it together one more? Uh, let's get it together one more. you got to focus on one at a time. You can't look at the last two games and focus on those because they're the last two. You know, it's focused on the present. You're the focus on making sure that you stick together and play with each other and make sure that um, you play with ultimate edge out there because against this Miami team, they play hard, they play discipline, so we have to do the same. Grant, how different is the, the tone or the morale even since the last time you guys were here? You no, know, honestly, it's not much different. Uh, we've been the same high spirits, same um, joking mentality that we always have been throughout this entire season, and we've had each other's back, you know. Um, even when things haven't gone our way, we've continued to fight, continued to persevere, and we still continue to do that. Grant, did you happen to hear Jimmy Butler after game five guarantee to win? If so, what, what do you think? At the end of the day, we'll see what happens. You know, we can't. I'm not guaranteeing one or the other. I'm going out there to play the game the right way, making sure that we can impact winning as much as possible. And our team's just going out here, go out there and do the same. For us, we just got to focus on the details of every single quarter, every single minute, every single possession. So, um, that if we do that, we take care of the outcome. We 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 will accomplish our goal. What's the biggest difference with you guys between the second half of Game Four, Game Five, as opposed to the first three games? Um, I think it's more so just our discipline. We've done a better job of playing with, with one another in terms of like offensively than defensively. We turned our pressure up. We've been better on that side of the ball, and that's really set us up for great offense. So we've continued guarding. That's got to be our number one priority and making sure these guys don't get anything easy, no um, easy looks, and then nothing easy for the shooters as well because they're really hard to guard when Jimmy, Bam, and those guys are going as well as Duncan, Max, Gabe, uh, Hope, if he plays tonight, you know, Kyle. You can't let those guys affect the game. Absolutely. The biggest thing about accountability is not nitpicking every little thing that someone does. Because if we can look at any course of, the, of, a, of a game over a season and, and talk about any detail, for us, just to make sure that we don't give up things that are controllable. Making sure that we have each other's back. Like if we have a defensive rebound that was easily available to one of us, that's when we can get each other on. Same with uh, if you know a guy's personnel, what he likes to do, and what he, and you give him, give him that something that you can speak up about. So for us, it's making sure that we have each other's backs in a positive way, and then also being able to uh, criticize and say, "Listen, um, positive criticism comes it comes in the, any form," and just making sure that everyone knows that we're here for one another. I was just talking to your unofficial DJ over there. Um, how is music kind of brought you guys? <laughs> he does a great job of making sure that we have something for each city, you know, something special, whether it's uh, energy lifter or energy setter, energy, you know, he does a great job of, of controlling that throughout the morning and then hopefully throughout the day. What do you anticipate in, in terms of a setting here tonight, just with how they're going to play, knowing they want to avoid a game seven? Oh, they're going to come out and try and smack us in the face from the start. They're going to come out and play as hard as they possibly can to set a tone, set a message that they're here to win. And we have to not only be ready for that and be ready to counter, but also be ready to throw a punch ourselves, you know, because at the end of the day, this team's not going to lay down and quit, you know. They'll be down 30 points, and they'll still continue fighting and doing the exact same thing they'd be doing if they were down two. So we have to understand that and make sure that we – really keep the same mentality no matter if we're up or down and make sure that we come out and do our jobs. What is it about you guys though in elimination games you're 4-0 this year 7-1 the last two years as a group what do you guys do so well? Who knows maybe it's just something we like making making things hard on ourselves and making y'all sweat a little bit. For game four you guys were walking around saying don't let us get one you back in the locker room saying don't let us get three don't let us get one more I always say it's one at a time you know you got to focus on that one game and don't let us, let us get one and focusing on tonight in Miami and then Think about the future when the future comes. Last Final question, question for Grant. How have you been able to stay with me? I mean, you're jumping you're into a playoff series, <laughs> not playing much, playing big minutes. <laughs> just being there for your teammates. That's the number one thing, whether it's on the floor or off. Um, for me, it's just trying to stay mentally disciplined in my regiment, um, making sure I'm prepared on, the, on, the, on and off the court, both with diet and also with the uh, actual workouts and stuff that I'm doing to stay consistent. And um, I think that I've been very fortunate to have a lot of great teammates throughout this year, and they've had my back throughout anything that's happened. So um, that's my job to do the same for them. Grant, what do, you, what do you feel the biggest thing you guys have unlocked defensively? The performance in four and five was so radically different than the first three. Yeah, I feel like the biggest difference is just our pressure. Um, understanding that what makes us great in our offense keeps us from losing, but our defense keeps us from winning, you know, helps us win. And 
without that, you know, we can get into a shootout with anyone and probably compete. But when we guard and then we also have the shootout potential, guess what? No one can really beat us. Thank you, Grant. Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.